And then I eventually am in Be Well Clinic. So Be Well Clinic is the practice that I have and have had for 10 years. Um, and that is where I integrated. Now it started small, of course. Um, it started where I had GAPS patients and primary care children, basically that I kind of saw both. And then eventually I got to the place where um, I understood how to take the principles of GAPS and really mix them in to what I call practicing GAPS. Mm -hmm. Basically everyone in my clinic is practicing GAPS, whether they know it or not. We talk about eating animal fat and starting fermented foods and doing beet kvass and all the things that are so important. And it really gave me the opportunity to understand or to see, I love that I could see it play out and to understand how to teach people, how to help them where they're at, at a mom with four kids that just heard about fat being good for them, um, as opposed to people who have been in it deep and have been studying for years, um, trying to figure out their health issues, kind of like I was at. Both are good, and I love helping both people. Um, but um, I love that I, I love both. I love helping both people, but I love helping families when their kids um, are not um, so deep down in a hole that we have to make this a full-time job for the moms, but they can put the principles in and eventually often they go to GAPS um, diet for a while for their family for a year or two. Um, but that, that's how I implement it in my practice. It's, it's a mix, which is really fun to me. Yes, I love that. You talk about that in the training about practicing gaps. And I think that's such a, a wonderful concept because not everybody is ready to dive in even mentally or even physically. There's some pretty, pretty like severe um, conditions where you start the intro diet and you have severe die off and you just feel mm -hmm. awful. So by practicing gaps, we slowly kind of incorporate these things like meat stock, you know, even just cooking at home. So many people don't do that anymore. Um, so just kind of introducing these concepts, getting them confidence and familiar in the skill set. And then uh, when they're ready to go full board on gaps, uh, they are they are successful and they know exactly what to do. And that as well, a practicing gaps, it's because even if you're not doing gaps 100 percent, you're still making great choices. Mm -hmm. You know, you're still choosing a, a you know, cup of meat stock or soup over breakfast cereal in the morning. And that every single choice adds up and, you know, helps your body to, to heal and, and do what it needs to do to function. So I love that concept that you bring to the training. Yeah. One of my favorite things and what I love about how Dr. Natasha's brain work is that she thinks in principles and so do I. And so this idea of I can, I can bring the principle to apply, meat stock is going to heal the gut. Now we do often for full deep healing need exclusivity. Part of GAPS is exclusivity is a phrase I say a lot, but you can get healing by doing meat stock and you can help the body ease into it slower. Um, people don't know how to cook or even how to source food. And so they can take a year or more to find the food and to practice making pate and to get good at their ferments and their die off is, um, uh, mitigated because they've been eating ferments now for six months. So when they go on intro, they're already eating ferments. So there's so many things. And I love in the trainings, I love bringing this um, aspect to life um, in terms of uh, the Q&As and things where we're talking um, in the trainings for EGPs and CGCs of it is okay. If you want to be passionate about doing GAPS protocol with people who are ready, we need those practitioners and coaches you are passionate about bringing people along until they're ready and after they're ready, we need those coaches too um, and practitioners also. And to be flexible with, I hold always, gaps is gaps. If you aren't doing gaps protocol the way it's prescribed, it won't give the benefits that, full benefits that it's going to give. But every part of gaps has benefits and so we can bring them in little pieces. I know where we're going and I can hold that destination for my client or my patient, and then I can help them get there in a reasonable pace for their life. 